This video shows you what to do if your printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray when you do have paper loaded and an out of paper error message displays on the printer's control panel or on your computer. Sometimes the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. First, make sure the printer is powered on. If it is off, press the power button. Next, turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, remove the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front of the printer. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn it on. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, pull the paper tray straight out to extend it. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Push the paper tray back into the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. From the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Then touch Tools. On the Tools menu, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, Go on to the next step. Often, the condition of the paper you're using can cause paper not to feed correctly. Pull the paper tray straight out to remove it from the printer. Remove all paper and obstructions you see. From the stack of paper you have removed from the printer, Remove any damaged paper you find. Make sure that there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets in the paper stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type, and then tap it on a flat surface to align the edges perfectly. Reinsert the paper tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Push the paper tray back into the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. From the printer's control panel, Touch the Settings icon. Then touch Tools. On the Tools menu, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloth. Clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Pull the paper tray straight out to extend it. Remove the paper. Push the paper tray back into the printer. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Open the access door. Locate the paper path cover in the back of the printer. 
Squeeze the handles and lift the cover to remove it. Lift the plastic duplexer flap to gain access to the rollers. Locate the indented area. Using one hand, push on the indented area of the plastic towards the back of the printer. Using your other hand, lift up on the duplexer flap to expose more of the paper path. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller starting on the right side of the roller and wiping to the left. Use your finger to turn the roller up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. Make sure that you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. Allow the rollers to dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the rollers are dry, lower the plastic duplexer flap. Reattach the paper path cover. To do this, squeeze the handles on the paper path cover inward and then slide the tabs on the cover into the corresponding slots on the printer. Once it is in position, you can lower it all the way into the printer and release the handles. Make sure the cover is securely in place, otherwise the printer will not function correctly. Close the access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Press the power button to power the printer on. To clean the next set of rollers, we will use an automated utility that is built into the printer. From the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. Touch Tools. Touch Paper Feed Cleaning. Ensure you don't have paper loaded in the paper tray. Then touch Continue. The printer will clean the pick rollers for you. This process can take several minutes. Once the printer has stopped making noise and has returned to its original position, you can load paper into the printer. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, pull the paper tray straight out to extend it. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Push the paper tray back into the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. From the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. Then touch Tools. On the Tools menu, touch Printer Status Report. If the test page prints, try printing the original document again. If the issue is resolved, there is no need to continue troubleshooting. If the test page prints but the original document does not print, go on to the next step. If the test page does not print, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step. Your printer might need to be serviced. Next, we'll make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you are trying to use. On your computer, return to the document in the program you are trying to print from when the issue occurred. On your keyboard, press Ctrl and P to open the Printing Properties window. Click Properties. When the Properties box opens, click the Paper Quality tab. Select the Media drop-down menu. 
and then choose the appropriate paper type. Select the Paper Size drop-down menu and choose the appropriate paper size. Click OK, and then click OK again to print the document. If the document prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the document does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.